Hello everybody, my name is Virus Alertable, and I am here to give you guys a special treat. This is the earliest known build of Microsoft Windows 1.0 DR5, Development Release 5. This is the earliest release that we've gotten our hands on. There are three other, there are four others behind this, but they just have never been released. This build was made, it was compiled on the, on the 1st of November, 1984. It's pretty cool to see you, to see this. Um, right now I am in the process of copying over some files. I've actually, I think I've, uh, gone ahead and started installing it. Anyways. This is this is really cool. How this is the early, this is really the earliest version that we could ever get our hands on. And as this goes on, I will give you guys the system requirements of what is needed, and it's very precise system requirements what is needed for this operating system to run perfectly. First, you would need already to have installed DOS 2 2. Point whatever whatever version of as long as it's 2. At, it's 2.0 or higher. And, or uh, DOS 3.0, MS-DOS. You would be required to have an IBM XT or AT, 512 kilobytes of memory, a floppy disk configured as drive A, a hard disk configured as drive C, a color graphics card, external con console connected to COM1, this is for debugging reasons, just in case if something happens to the program. Microsoft mouse, bus, or serial, and a timer. And the interesting thing about this operating system, as you guys can see loading up, this is what it looks like. Um, as you can see, this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like Windows 3.0, but a little less messier. You got your clipboard there, and you got your clock. This is your little analog clock here. And then we have your control panel. This is to change the date, your double click speed, and the blink rate of your little little blinker. And as you can see me scrolling down, we'll be opening our first application, calculator.exe. So as you can see, we test it out, five times two, gives us the correct answer, 10. And uh, I haven't really played around with it enough to know how to actually <laughs> close programs, excuse me. So if anyone would like to give me some tips and tricks on that, Please help me out on that. Anyways, um, as you can see, this is the Windows directory. You would all know. This is the bin directory. This really doesn't have anything in it. All it has is rc.exe and stuff like that. Hidden in those little files, you could actually find some Easter eggs, which I'm going to pop up on the screen right now, and you guys will be able to see what that, what those. Um, you can go ahead and pause the video to see what that says. It's in the actual source code got some doc files but we can't really open them I've tried opening them can't um, as you can see these little slider works but it doesn't make the little little animation here we got a here we got the first game that we're looking at is puzzle now I tried the other game which is I think it was the pull one I forgot what it was called it's pull something uh, but that I didn't get that to work as I struggle to figure out this puzzle I will be giving you guys what what the development fix findings what the findings of the fixes and enhancements are the first enhancement is that this version of the build supports both cga and hercules graphics however hercules graphics uh is, is not set as a default it's cga that's set as a default you can now register file extensions in user profile windows slash test you can find an extension section in this section you can register file extensions with your application pretty cool isn't it you can run applications on startup and references to past references to future and then there's the e easter eggs which is pretty cool now while we're looking at this, I'm going to talk about the earlier builds that were um, before this. There was obviously four more builds. That's why it's called 
DR5. The first build is called Byte. It's the Byte magazine build because it was made as the magazine. And as you can see, you can multitask a little bit with these little games here. This is the earliest build to confirm that, that has been confirmed to exist. This was shown in the December 1983 issue of Byte magazine. It was an interface that looked like Word, Multiplan, and Chart for DOS. It was compiled. Uh, it was compiled around May uh, 1983 for the Microsoft House, and to this day, it still is not unleaked. And I will leave a link of the magazine entry down in the description so you guys can go right ahead and look at it. Anyway, the next build after this was the InfoWorld magazine build. This was shown in the InfoWorld magazine issue of November 21st, 1983. It was a Comdex-like version of Windows 1.0, and this was in the issue two years before Windows 1.0 was even released, which is pretty cool. Not much is known about this, like all the other builds, because this build has never been unleaked and we don't have any really any solid information about it. So we don't know that much about it. The next build after this is the Comdex build. It was shown to the public at the Fall Comdex on, on November 10th, 1983. It, although it was an earlier build shown in Byte Magazine, they both remain unleaked. The build was compiled on November the 1st, 1983, one year before DR5. This is one year before we even got this build that I'm showing you in the building. In this. In the building, sorry. Excuse me. In the build video. And I will show you a video. Uh, I will link a video of you guys so you guys can see what the Falcon Dex the demo looked like so you guys can see what that looks like and then the last build before the dr5 was the april 1984 build this was compiled on 19 and in, in the 9th of april of 1984 looks similar to the comdex demo but it's a little bit different it's just it's just it's a slight subtle difference to it Re and the resize box, and then they had resize boxes added, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, I can tell you, this is not a very stable build. It's not a stable operating system. It's already having problems. Uh, it locked up, and uh, when I tried to go back in, it gave me an error that the cursor couldn't load. So, um, I will possibly, if you guys want to, I will, I will definitely give you guys a tutorial so you guys can install it yourself so you guys can see how I install it so you guys can go right ahead and install it how you got how I did it and it's pretty interesting so you guys can see it's how oh, it looks it's pretty cool it's really cool you guys really gotta do you guys really gotta see this um, as you can see I'm trying to figure out what's going on anyway that is about it for the build. There's really not much else to say about it because there's really not that much information that we have on it. Anyways, we'll be seeing you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want more videos, let me know. Hit that like button, subscribe, and comment. Thanks, guys. See ya. Signing off.